real quick, uh, it came today. This has been kind of blowing up with the college football playoff uh, reportedly uh, looking at moving to a 12-team playoff system. So going from 4 to 12, it's a mistake. which is a significant change. What's y'all's first little thought of that? In it'd, your be opinion? A, it'd be a mistake. 12 is too many. Like I, I think most people can agree four is not quite enough. But I feel like if you do 12, just there's so many teams that don't deserve the playoff bonuses and the playoff hype. Like there's not that many great teams that deserve a shot at the championship. That's just my opinion. Um, I, I think eight. Like if you're going to expand it, do six or eight. Twelve's too many. Yeah, I mean, how are you going to go from four to twelve? <clears throat> I mean, they're not even going to experiment experiment with anything smaller first. They're just going to go from four to twelve, and they've been doing you know four team format now for. This will be the eighth, se- eighth season coming up. So, I don't know. I think that's too drastic of a change, in my opinion. So, I would like to see him try six or eight. And, you know, maybe maybe if that doesn't work how they see it, maybe explore 12 from there. But four to 12 is just too much for me. If you go 12, why not just follow the, the FPS route and, and have a – was it 24 teams? Uh, I, I'm not sure exactly how many that are in the 1AA Division Two playoffs, but if you didn't go 12, what's up? You're going 24. Uh, I think 12 is too much. I think that's when you get one one and two lost teams that maybe shouldn't be there. I mean, there's a lot of times where the 1-4 games are already just blowouts. Do we really want to see two weekends of blowouts before we get to good games? I think that's. Yeah. I think it's just dumb. I mean, I mean, this year, what what do you see? So you get one versus twelve, or you know, one and two get however it's going to be set up. You know, who would have been number twelve this year? Co- they they Logan has Brett, uh, Brett McMurphy's tweet up here. Twelve would have been Coastal playing the five seed Notre Dame. Okay, so how that game would have gone? Notre Dame by probably thirty. Mm. <laughs> that would I'll be coastal. Why, why why do that? <laughs> They're trying to look for the storyline then. More moolah. That's yeah. exactly all. I, mean, I, I guess. Out. I guess the underdog teams get more of a shot. So you know, if you do have a team like Coastal, they get a chance to make the playoff instead of having no chance at all. Yeah, so they, they can't. So it'd be like the same thing as UCF. Like that undefeated UCF team forever is like, oh, we won the national championship that year. Uh, we went undefeated. Well, this this way, you put them in the playoff and they get their asses kicked. That's why you think like if you're going to do it, do eight. You, you do five conference champions, two at largest, and then if there's that one really good group of five team, you, you make them that eight seed. I agree with Austin. Go eight. Uh, I, I think that every conference winner should be put into it. And then you have your at large, and then you have your best group of five. I think that's the best way to do it. That way, all the big, all the big conferences get their cut of the money, and then it gives an opportunity for, you know, a Georgia. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Who who loses one game to get into it, which is what they want, but also, you know, let's call it what it is. Probably what is deserved, man. Don't, don't get me started. <laughs> I'm going to eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at a few of these tweets on here. Um, it's like the earliest decision to officially expand to 12 teams is this upcoming September. I saw a few tweets, too. Also, if this were to go in effect, it would begin as early as 2023. So that these last two seasons could be the only four teams in. What do you mean? These, be, this would be the last season. 2023, so you'd still have 2022. Yeah, that's the last 14 playoff. No, you'd have... In. You have this year and next year is what Logan said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Next year it would start, wouldn't it? 2023 is in two years. I get it, but the playoff, the next playoff that will be held will start in 2022. Okay. Well, you're thinking... 20, 
Uh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. When you say 2013 I mean national, it. yeah. When you say 2013 national champions, even though the game was played in 2014 and still the 2013 national champion. Okay, so that's how, okay. yeah. You know, yeah, be quiet. <laughs> Don't be mean to him now. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to clarify. Uh, he's clarifying for those that might have a uh, couple question marks. A disability. Clearly Young saying 2025, 2026, not 2023. I don't know. I, I saw a few things on Twitter. I don't know if you guys also saw it, but I was seeing 2023. It could go as early as then. Might be wrong, but this is early from earlier from today. You may be freedom. Either, Either way, twelve's too many. Do you think? Do you think this is an exciting day for college football fans if this goes to twelve teams? I mean, I guess in some ways, more you football. Like more that takes game. if you really want to get excited about like Iowa State, Cincinnati next year. I mean, so so does that go to like? I thought they play seventeen games. So that does that mean that? They go to a nine conference season, and then one at one you know out of conference game, or two out of go back to an eleven game regular season. You know, I mean, what, what does that look like? That's you what know, I'm wondering. I doubt, I doubt they play good. seventeen games. I, I, yeah. I think that removes one to two of your 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 half ass games against uh you know a Savannah State in a. Uh, you know, a Florida, Florida State game. I think that jeopardizes that possibly a little, a little bit. But I, I think that you know, I, I'm I want to see what it looks like first because I, I don't want to sit here and yeah. go down to ten games and then. Well, it's showing on here too. I was seeing that the top four seeds also get buys in the first round. So that changes up some certain things too, right there. I don't know. I think there's still a lot more. It's interesting to keep an eye on. There's going to be a lot of things changing, and we'll be hearing new things. But this is this is a huge change, gigantic. But it, like, and it seems it's like drastic. this is, yeah, it's drastic, and it seems like it's like literally, kind of almost a done deal. And that's what Brett McMurphy's making it sound, and some other places like this is this is done. This is what happened in 2023. We'll be seeing. A twelve-team playoff, which makes it pretty interesting. And FSU has a chance now. Florida has a chance. <laughs> Miami. I was just say, say Miami might have a chance, but no. I thought about it. Yeah. John saying he doesn't agree. Don't, don't need to see an increase in the number of teams. 